this is your lakshmi vati today i came up with uh, one topic that is uh, mainly related to gate or ies and other competitive examinations uh, that is a uh, handbook it is a very good practice to follow a handbook uh, while preparing for uh, any government job or any other competitive examinations why because uh, in graduation the syllabus is very high very huge there are uh, few subjects are there generally if you say around 50 subjects will be there okay. if you consider btec subjects the main important subjects will be around 10 so it's a uh, very difficult to remember each and every formula and all so uh, it's better to follow some handbooks so uh, handbooks means uh, it's not like uh, handwritten by your own that is anyhow it's required but uh, there will be some books uh, by for example ace or maybe b or some other uh, institutions so i'm just explaining one of the handbook so that uh, we'll get some good understanding how how you can follow so uh, in single video it may be difficult to explain everything so i'm just uh, i will i will just explain um, a parts or uh, maybe th three four pages like that every day so that uh, it's good for you also to be up keep updated yeah here uh, we have a supply system uh, in supply system in our power systems uh, so i'm just uh, going to explain explain this uh, supply system now supply system now supply system basic structure of power system electrical energy generated at generating stations by synchronous generator the generating voltages are generally 11 kV and 33 kV. This voltage is then stepped up by step up transformer up to 132 kV, 220 kV, 400 kV, or uh, 765 kV for transmission over long distances. Again, these high voltages are brought down to sub transmission level that is 66 kV to supply large consumer and uh, further stepped down to primary distribution that is 30, 33 kV, 11 kV. For secondary distribution level voltage is brought down to 400 kV for three phase and 400 volts for three phase, 230 volts for single phase for residential and commercial uses. This is the circuit diagram or block diagram we can say around 15 kV it is generated. The, here it is a step up transformer. Here uh, we, we can see transmission level voltages 132 kV, 222 kV, 400 kV, 765 kV like that. So. <laughs> here uh, you can have again a uh, step down transformers uh, sub transmission network up to 66 kv and then again one more step down transformer from 33 or 11 kv and again one more transformer uh, that is a 400 or 433 volts or 415 volts uh, phase voltage can be 230 or 250 something like that so it depends on uh, the, the sequence uh, generally uh, the whatever the one m every mv is generated uh, we need transformers of around uh, 7 MVA for uh, transmitting from one place to other place. So here you can see, say if this is 5, M, 5, MVA, uh, 5 MVA capacity generator, then we may need together 35 MVA capacity for, ja, for, the, for, for transmitting this entire uh, energy to the end customer because we have various transformers. So we can see the importance of transformer also here. Generating stations are interconnected by the lines. Transmission lines when interconnected with each other becomes a transmission network. The combined transmission and distribution network is known as power grid. Effect of system voltage on transmission of power. Power loss in line is inversely proportional to the system voltage and power factor both. Percentage voltage drop in resistance decreases with increase in system voltage. Weight of the conductor material for line will decrease with increase in supply voltage and power factor. Efficiency of transmission increases with increase of supply voltage and power factor. High supply voltage also enhances the system stability. The problems encountered with the high voltages are insulation of the equipment, corona, radio and television interference. The voltage level of system is uh, therefore governed by the amount of power to be transmitted and length of the line. So length of the line plays a major role in deciding what, what should be the voltage for that particular application. Voltage level. Voltage level. We have low voltage level, high voltage level, extra high voltage level, modern EHP, ultra high EHP. 
generally uh, our household voltage is 230 or 400 volts are low voltage 11 or 33 kV in our local substations are uh, high voltage extra high voltage generally the, the, the will, this will be at the district level 6 kV or 32 kV to 20 kV modern EHV also sometimes generally at district level ultra EHV generally uh, these are 765 kV and above around 1200 kV is the maximum voltage in India now so these voltages these things are maintained by generally power grid Conductors used for a transmission line, copper conductor and uh, aluminium. Aluminium directly we won't use because they have very less strength. So aluminium conductors still reinforced ACSR, ACAR. Aluminium conductor alloy reinforced, all aluminium alloy reinforced, expanded ACSR conductor normally used for EHV lines. These abbreviations are very important when uh, we are applying for uh, any PG set or something like that. Yeah, types of conductor solid conductor it has a high spin effect due to the solid content present in it hollow conductor fit for under heavy current more than 1000 amps standard conductor composite standard conductor uh, used for uh, voltage less than or equal to 220 kV uh, bundle conductor used for uh, voltage greater than or equal to 275 kV advantages of bundle conductor Self distance increased without change of change in mutual distance. Voltage gradient reduced, so corona loss reduced. It reduces the interference with the nearby communication line. Inductance of transmission line reduces and the capacitance increases. Surge, induct surge impedance ZS equal to square root of L by C decreases. Power system stability increases. So it's better to go for bundle conductor. Insulators. Insulators we will uh, use to just to isolate the conductor from power structure and cross arm. Power headline insulators provide the required insulation to the line conductor from each other and from supporting structure electrically. Most commonly used in materials are porcelain and rough front glass. The capacitance C, capacitance between metal part of the insulator and tower structure, this one. Uh, MC, capacitance of each insulator disc, this is MC. M generally MC greater than MC. The stress experienced by the disc near the power conductor is uh, more than stress experienced by the disc near the cross arm. So this will be the this will be the highest value capacitance for this this disc will offer highest value. So there will be a factor for string efficiency. Uh, string efficiency is the voltage across the whole string divided by n into voltage across the unit adjusted to the line of uh, line conductor, where n equal to number of insulator disc in string. As number of disc increases, string efficiency decreases. Methods of equalizing potential across each disc increase the length of cross arm, capacitance grading or grading of units, use of grading rings or static shielding. Types of insulators pin type insulator, pin type insulator uh, operate satisfactory up, satisfactorily up to 25 kV, multi pin type insulator operate up to 33 kV. Suspension type insulator, a suspension insulator designed uh, to operate at 11 kV. Strain type insulator, strain type insulator mechanically strong. It is used when direction of transmission line, uh, line changes across uh, river crossing and at the dead end of the transmission line. Shackle type, shackle type insulator are used in low tension cable. These insulators can be operated either horizontally or vertically. Yes, uh, this is about uh, supply system. In power system, uh, this is a handbook. This is a uh, basic course, uh, first level. Say I can say one by yes, one by fourteen. So we have uh, fourteen other series in power system. I will cover in uh, next sessions. Thank you. Keep watching. Stay connected, guys. Bye.